The mission statement for St. Brendan's Parish is to help people on their journey of faith. I've been a parishioner since May of 2000 when I was baptized here. Yeah. <laughs> We've been members for 11 years. Ryan and I actually got married here uh, at St. Brendan and that was absolutely amazing. As, after I went through the RCIA program, I was um, truly became a parishioner after the Easter Vigil. We have to keep up and offer the parishioners of St. Brendan's a place to worship and a place to stay so that maybe this will become their family, just like it has for Donna and I. So we try to engage with them and to encounter them and help them on their journey of faith. And this project will be a huge asset for us with this particular vision statement. Because one of the things that hinders us helping people on their, their voyage of faith is the fact that we have so little space to have small groups, larger groups, um, intermediate groups. On the surface, it might not appear that we need more space, but as I've participated in several ministries, I can see the need for more space so that we can grow. We talked about some of the activities that we'd like to eventually do with the health and wellness ministry, holding group fitness classes. When we originally talked about holding group fitness classes, it was like, well, where do you want to hold them? How about the parking lot? Walking with Purpose has grown considerably. We had to f overflow into the art room, into the kindergarten room. So the need for more space there, I, th I think, is just wonderful. We need space desperately. So in order to fulfill those needs of the people that are hungry for faith and for programming, we've got to be able to accommodate them. St. Brendan's has always had a very strong community, a community that has been known for its outreach. And what I've tried to do since I came here was to not take away from the breadth of that outreach, but to deepen the foundations and to strengthen the foundations by giving more faith opportunities because it's our faith that stimulates us to go out and to serve others. And therefore we need to grow in that faith and give people the opportunity to grow in that faith by producing a master plan uh, that it's not possible to do all of it necessarily in stage one. So the phased approach will allow us to really focus on producing something that over time will meet everybody in the community's needs. Phase one is the major phase. It will actually propel us forward, create synergy, give more meeting space, more opportunities both in the school and in the parish community, and that will actually set us up to move on to stage two, and then on to uh, phase three, and finally phase four. The Adoration Chapel came about because I could sense there was a growing desire here for more adoration, and that's proved to be correct because we've just gone from uh, having 30 minutes of adoration on Wednesday morning and an hour on Wednesday evening to having an hour of adoration every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, every Saturday. And there are people who are coming who have not been before and there are other people who come to Daily Mass who are choosing to stay. The addition of the Adoration Chapel is going to be wonderful. The Adoration Chapel with some um stained glass windows in it. I'm, I'm excited over that. This plan is cool because you get closer together and closer to God. I am most excited for the Adoration Chapel um, because there have been times where I've looked around the internet and tried to find various churches around town that have it and so I'm very excited to be able to come here to my own parish and experience Adoration. So one example of the changes that will occur in phase one is that the, what we now call the school cafeteria and the kindergarten classrooms will become uh, De Petro Commons. And I felt it was really important to name that area De Petro Commons after Father Rod because of his great love both for the parish and for the school. And De Petro Commons will be a place that both parts of the community can use on a regular basis. So the school will use it as a cafeteria during the day and for other things. And then the parish community will have it available in the evening. It will be a larger room because it incorporates the two kindergarten rooms. 
which also enables us to move kindergarten to a location away from the cafeteria so that the littlest students in the school have a quieter environment in which to work. So for all of us, it will actually create this beautiful high-end space that will really benefit the community both during the day and in the evenings. The thing that excites me most, I believe, about the campaign is it's going to bring all aspects of the church together. I like the idea of the offices, the school, and the church all being connected. That it's one building, it's one community, it's one parish. Uh, what I like most about St. Brendan is the fact that we have a school, a very vibrant school, um, and a vibrant community and parish. And so um, to think that our kids are exposed to that as one community we feel blessed to be a part of it. And this is an opportunity to bring everything in under, under one roof and say we are church together. We're not parish and school, we are church. By adding more space for meeting and for fellowship opportunities and really making good, smart use of the space, the opportunities for us to connect to more folks and to start really helping other people feel connected to St. Brendan as well. Phasing it in is such a great idea and it's going to make it a really smart financial decision. So as your pastor, I'm asking you to make an investment in this campaign and to support us by making a significant pledge that will help us to build as soon as possible. Without the support of the parishioners, it's not going to happen. This is God's money. These are God's resources, uh, God's energy and time that we have we can give to the parish and to the church. Why wouldn't we give? Every little bit counts, and the outcome of this will be amazing, and th even the smallest contribution will help so much. I don't know what Hilliard will look like in 30, 50 years, but it's definitely important that this parish be part of that, and so this is a great opportunity to be part of that, and I'm kind of lucky that this is our time to do it. Our generation is the one that's responsible for accommodating those kids 20 years from now, just as my parents and her parents uh, did back in the, in the 40s and 50s. I want to thank you for everything you already do for our parish, both in terms of your time, your talent, and indeed your treasure. In all areas, you are so generous. And I want to invite you now to join with me in making a further investment in our community. Support the One Campaign. Support the One Campaign. Support the One Campaign. Support the One Campaign. Our Navigator Expansion. Our Navigator Expansion. Our Navigator Expansion. One faith. One, one faith. faith. One, one family. family. One, one family. family. One, one future. future. One future. Support the One Campaign. One faith. One family. One future.